Okay, I want to demonstrate the power requirements of the Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt module. And I've got this connected to a Jackery 1000 watt portable power supply. I wanted to do this outside on the bed of a pickup truck just to demonstrate the portability, but it's raining today, so uh, we'll not do that. Right now I have the machine on. And it seems to be pulling about 5 watts just being in an on state. I have my air assist hooked up, but it's hooked up to one of those uh, hydroponic pumps. This is not the X-Tool uh, air assist set. That is rated at about 17 watts. When I plug this one in, it runs at about 45 watts. So what I've done here is I've set the letter T up. I was going to do the word test, but uh, it'll take too long for the purposes of this video. And I have my power set at 50%. So they indicate that the machine power for a D1 Pro 20 watt is 120 watts. And that's if you're operating at 100%, uh, you know, nonstop. So I'm going to operate at 50%, which is probably what your typical wood engraving would be. So let's go ahead and then I'll plug the air assist in somewhere along the line real quick and, and indicate how much power that that's drawing. So let's go ahead and hit start. And our power has went to about 42, 36. So I'm pulling about 42 watts. Let me go ahead and plug my air assist in. And I just jumped up to a little less than 60 watts and I'm done so let's hit the home button here I don't like pushing the gantry out of the way so that's not a terrible engraving I might have slowed things down and made it a little darker if I was doing something for a customer but uh, and you can see that just with the air assist running it's pulling 34 watts or so so uh, this machine at best is going to pull less than 60 watts when you're running at 50 percent uh, let me unplug my air assist so that 60 watts gives you a run time on a 500 watt portable power supply of almost eight hours it's like 7.3 hours and again that would be provided that you ran it 100 percent of the time non-stop so i'm just trying to demonstrate that you could take a d1 uh Pro out in the field <clears throat> and then hook it to a portable power supply and get hours and hours of runtime out of it. 